quickly and can be sold for a decent profit. Naran Deshmukh and his family have farmed this land for five generations. But after nearly 15 years running the business, he's now facing financial ruin. This is the toughest year I have ever seen. Last year we produced a decent quantity, 20 quintals, about two tons of cotton. But this year we have produced just five quintals. And we are not getting a good price. Thousands of farmers have been forced to bring their stock to centers like this, where they can sell their produce to the government rather than the open market. But state buyers can only offer them a price 20% lower than last year. And much of what's grown will have to be stored this year because demand from India's traditional buyers, Bangladesh, Vietnam and especially China has slowed. This warehouse shows the scale of the problem. There are thousands of warehouses across the country just like this where producers are holding their stock in the hope that global prices for cotton will eventually rise because there's no demand for it at home or on the international market. Manish Dagger is a cotton exporter. He says the government needs to do more. This is very close to a calamity. Why have surplus cotton? Why can't we plan it in advance? Cotton is grown every year, cotton is sown every year. As well as buying India's excess cotton, the government's tried to help boost sales by making it easier for exporters to sell abroad. Officials say the government is trying to shield the industry from the impact of falling prices. But farmers must take action too. The time has come when we, when we have to demotivate the farmers to concentrate on other crops. It has to be relooked so that farmers may choose any other crop which is more essential. It will be tough to change the mindset of Pavani's growers, traders and exporters who have all come to depend on cotton for their livelihoods and the call to grow new crops will be little comfort as they face ending the harvest season empty-handed. Ashley Neem, BBC News, Maharashtra.